Hello, my friends. Tin Man here. It's rather comical. I just carried my vest up to the Red Shoe House and let them look at the back of it that I want altered and they can't do that. They can stitch it, but they, they don't do the uh, alteration part. So we're gonna go check our cleaners. The funny part is, I vlogged up here and all, and then checked the camera again and it was off. And I'm like, what is going on? Well, through all this fun, and yesterday and all and for whatever, I'm not really sure where it is, but I didn't put the SD card back in the camera. So yesterday I didn't push it in, today I didn't have it in, so we grabbed one out of our battery packs and uh, put one in. And we're doing it again. <laughs> My little car's caught out in the middle of nowhere and don't even have a turn signal on. But it's crazy how uh, my cameras are messing with me. My brain's messing with me more, I guess is the, the honest truth. Um, <laughs> just have to, just have to laugh at it. Y'all pray for me. My neck is causing me some wild stuff. Forgetful stuff, crazy stuff. I'm a lot more irritable, the wife says, which comes with the territory. The more the, uh, the more the spinal cord is pushed on, the more irritable I seem to get. And I know that from past experience that's why I can't really leave it alone and not do anything about it but I had physical therapy from 9 to 10 that's when I started blogging is when uh, left there headed up here I had moved it I had a 2 o'clock tomorrow and uh, scheduled it without really looking at the calendar and lo and behold I have a 315 injection into the neck tomorrow those two didn't really work together so we had the um, physical therapy move to nine this morning got fingers crossed for this injection tomorrow this is not one like I had a couple months ago where they go into the faucets this is a straight injection into the nerves like we did many years ago. I'd get good relief from them, but uh, they wouldn't last long enough. They'd only last five weeks. I think I got six weeks out of one at the most. And you can't have but one every three months. They only give you four a year. That's all insurance will pay for. And they don't want you to have more than that because of the steroid and everything in it, so. <laughs> hadn't had one in a long time and then um, I guess it's been like three years ago back in the holidays one of the nurse practitioners recommended getting one to get through Thanksgiving and Christmas and feel better and I went yeah you know that's a pretty good idea so we had the injection and uh, they don't happen instantaneously uh, usually takes two to five days to start feeling it you know it went a few days and called them and was like uh i'm not feeling anything yet and they're like okay give it a little longer a couple more days i'm like still not feeling anything but i am feeling worse and i think it was the weekend so they were like oh, well let us know over the weekend you know after it's over and by monday i was hurting i called them and said listen yeah, I'm not better, I'm worse. They put me on hold and come back, said they talked to Dr. Turner. And there's a two percentile chance that a, a chance that two percentile of the group, it'll go 
180 degrees opposite and cause pain instead of relief. And I'm like, ha, ah, Murphy's Law, that's me. Yeah, baby. So I was rather uncomfortable through Thanksgiving up and until Christmas. They'd, you get new, new nurse practitioners, you know, come in and see them every month and have, you know, the new ones will say, have you? You want to try an injection? And I was like, oh, no. Apparently you haven't read my record fallen my you know my records far enough back. Yeah. Had a really bad experience. But uh, with this fall and going through all this and it not getting better, I decided to give one a chance and see what happens. Hell it can't get much worse. So pray for me for tomorrow. Pray for this light to change. It's been forever. But uh, yeah, pray that uh, it does what it's supposed to do and gives me a little relief for a little while. And doesn't do the old flipatola on me. Mail call was really fun yesterday. Lady Rebel 18's sticker is just awesome as can be. I mean, that's a cool sticker. She she had some work put into that. I emailed uh, or texted a picture, a copy of that picture, and a copy of my the picture for my sticker, and asked this little girl at at church, Madison, um, that 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 does that type stuff. Asked her if she could do something in that area, not exactly, but something similar. It'd be cool for the next sticker. Yeah, there's a couple things I wish I'd done on this sticker, but I was in such a hurry to get them that I left it off. But, you know, it was my first one, so you learn. I love giving them to kids. They really think that's cool. Yeah, there's one pretty Silverado in front of me. Love the red. It's a beautiful day. I don't think I've said it yet. It's partly cloudy, a lot of blue skies, a few darker clouds down below. It's still 73. Hasn't changed much since uh, 10 o'clock for 30 minutes, which is good. Don't change at all. Stay 73 all day. I love it. I was looking covered bridges on the web in Georgia, thinking that'd be something cool to go find and fly my drone over. There's a couple within a half an hour from me. I know I did one. We did a ride to one two year and a half ago because I still still had the still had the road king. We rode there. <clears throat> so that's been a couple years. And one of the uh, Blue Knights from Chapter 11. He's the manager of that state park. Him and his wife, they're nice people. She's a school teacher. Red lights, red lights. I seem to get all the red lights today at least it's not blistering hot sitting at it that's when the ride becomes miserable
Well, that was a fun ride into Gainesville. Didn't take much trouble getting there or returning. Well, I think I'm going to bid y'all a goodbye. I think we'll do a hyper ride home from the gym. So, if you've liked this crazy hobnob video, please click the thumbs up and give it a like. If you're not a subscriber of mine, I would highly appreciate you hitting the subscription button and helping my channel grow when you hit it a bell icon will appear click that bell icon and you'll be notified when my videos are on channel and available to see so thanks for coming along on the ride with me And we'll see you tomorrow, probably morning. I have to get things done earlier, like this, in order to be ready for the injection. So we'll see uh, this time tomorrow, more than likely. It's 10 man saying. Again, thanks for coming along on the ride. Ride safe. Keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up. Ride them if you got them. Ten minutes saying, hang on for the uh, hyper speed ride and then we'll be out of here. See ya.